you know what I mean? Like, MDVA has, like, those innovative sort of players. And I think that, like, something out of nowhere where Zane's going to be playing Ice Climbers against Sheik, you know what I mean? To yeah. one have one on one stage, you know what I mean? They, it just shows how optimized the meta is that, like, you know, a player can, like, be having fun. It's almost like Zane, what Zane's doing right now is what comedians do, where they play, like, small rooms yep. like, out of nowhere. Like, a Bill Burr will just show up to a small room and just test drive jokes because yes. it's a small room, there's no pressure, and just, like, come up with jokes because they're, you know what I mean? That's what Ice Climbers is. Yeah. Ice Climbers is new material, and it's just something you can test drive right now with Zane being the best player in the world. Definitely. And you know, it's, it's funny enough that this is the test drive room is just the biggest monthly uh, so far in the year of MDVA. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not a major. It's not, it's only no. got, we only, we have just under 200 app, uh, entrants, but uh, as, so it, it's still a large pool of people. And it is. Unfortunately, getting uh, split up there, uh, yeah. unable to recover. It's oh. pretty stacked though. That's the one thing I will say, like Zane is the one player in this venue won't go main. Yes. You know what I mean? Everyone else, like even hacks, yeah. might go main. So uh, even a player like uh, Aqua. Yeah. But like Zane, right right now, just uh, is just chilling. Yeah. Right now, just going ice clean. I will. And, uh, I, winning right now. I do want to know. I don't want to just talk about Zane. Porkers here, I've been informed, is a former Towson player. Yeah. Moved to Philadelphia. Uh, very talented chief. This is. <laughs> you don't want to talk about him, but he's <laughs> he's right there. Yes. You know what I mean? He's. Doing the handoffs like better than most ICs that's that I've watched. <laughs> I've watched some pretty good ICs. I played against some pretty good ICs. Zane just casually throwing out those. That's uh, wow, this guy's insane. Yeah, that's so. a, that was an incredible handoff sequence. Those are really really difficult to hold on to, especially with the different character weights getting adapted to that. So yeah, but uh, yeah, want to give a bit more background. Yeah, what were you saying about Porkers? Uh, Porkers, yeah. So Porkers is a chic player. He's been he used to uh, uh, play at Towson with Bunko. Bunko's a good friend with him. Uh, moved to Philadelphia. Not sure if he's still involved with the scene there. Uh, formerly known as Porky, I believe, or some yes. other form of Pork Urs. Uh, the Urs is a different change. But uh, he was performing pretty well in uh, doubles earlier today. So let's see if he can start coming back against this little Sopo. Yeah. But uh, right now is at 106%. So he can't really take much damage from this. And doesn't. Zane SDing but still has two stocks to work with. Fortress right now just kind of playing a bit too safe. One thing, uh, if you play against a player like Zane, you kind of have to go all out. You have to like make reads and make a choice. Yep. You're not really going to beat a top player by just having it be like, okay, you run into this. Because they've seen too much. You yes. know what I mean? Even for a player like Zane, who hasn't been playing that long for like where he is, right? Zane's still been playing since like, what, 2013? At right? least. Yeah, 10 years. That's yeah. ten, think about that though. That's 10 years of the game. You know what I mean? That's uh, a decade. You know what yeah. I mean? How long that is still. And like, if you're going to play against a player like that, you have to do new stuff or you have to commit. Because you have to make it a tiny bit more RPS yep. and be like, okay, you know, it doesn't matter how good this person is. Yeah. I can win RPS. It's a yeah. one in three shot. You know what I mean? And just putting yourself in more RPS situations and then making a read where you're confident about it. Yeah. And uh, right now, uh, it's not really working out for Porkers. And you know, it's, what's really difficult here is even though Zane's on a Sopo, he forced the edge guard situation and doesn't good up me to not quite go to the ledge for once. Yeah. But, uh, Sheik has a really tough recovery with uh, just like, you know, Sheik has a long landing lag, so it's pretty easy to um, not just read, but just watch and react to Sheik's edge guard. And Zane was able to rack up something like 80% just by back airs uh, on top platform or mid platform. So, you know, just go to ledge, let Sheik go to top uh, mid platform, back air, rinse and repeat. You've seen it six, seven times on the stock. And Zane's on a Sopo and just racked up 100 damage and ended it with a down smash. But. Yeah, that's uh, you know what he's looking like right now? He's looking like uh, Don't Test Me too. you know yeah. what I mean? With yeah. those, the solo Ice Climbers low tier. Yes, you know sir. I mean? He's, I mean, he's done it with Zane. He's beaten Kevin Maples with Zane, so. Gross grab, that was, was just a wrong it, grab. Zane has beaten Kevin Maples with Roy. Yeah, not consistently. No. What the record show the last time that they played at Grants, Kevin Maples. Yeah, oh, that back right there though. And uh, is this Sopo going to take two stocks? Oh, very interesting. Wave dash down and smash. Sending out uh, Porkers off stage. And Porkers is just choosing to, electing to go to that mid-platform. I like the air dodge just to change it up. But uh, 
Zane has been able to cover this recovery over and over. Yeah. Bork is keeping it close though right now. Does oh, doesn't close out that kill, and that's going to be crucial. Hammer just Zane clips. Just gets in. Oh, he makes it back. Yeah, Bork is probably should have gotten a ledge or something. Down throw is going to connect into something. Up air is what Zane's choosing. And Nair is actually going to get Porkers back center stage. Oh, oh, rising up air, and Zane's How able you know? to grab ledge again. How did he? Oh, he just, <laughs> he just runs by him like, all right, you can spot dodge. Dude, look at his dash dances right now. He oh is, he's looking for that wave dash down smash, but hasn't found the one that's going to end up with the connect and kill. Yeah, just, just raw punishes from Zane are so funny. Like, they're just, he's so creative, he's so slick with everything that it'll just, like, get a punish from, like, creatively outthinking you know, sometimes. It's, like, beautiful to watch. Also, I like the shield, too. Uh, if you noticed, uh, we have a hard shield for uh, Popo and a light shield for Nana. Yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. It's, 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 um, because, you know, they, both their shields don't quite come out at the same time. I think Nana's shield comes out a split second later. And there's a little bit, if you're full shielding both of them, there's a little bit of, uh, Shield poke options for both Nana and Popo. So you have that light shield on Nana. Um, it covers a lot more space for shielding. So, yep. That smash forces this offstage situation. Porker's able to recover and shield the back airs. Porker's looking to split up Nana and Popo, but the Nair isn't quite going to do it. Down smash forces the offstage situation, and the back air rinse and repeat is coming. It's going to be a V set here, but doesn't grab ledge there. Good offensive back air there for Porkers, and now he's back into the fray, but not for long here as Zane was off stage and just able to grab Legend. Bird doesn't make it back to the stage, and now Zane uh, looking to uh, close out the second game here in Dreamland. Yeah, and it's, you know, Pork honestly, Porkers has been doing pretty decently to not just get caught with, like, cheese or anything like that. You know, the last game we had the one handoff situation that looked really rough, but that's going to happen to anyone, really. You get, it just takes one good grab and then exit from a good icy. So, Porkers has been doing pretty decent at not getting like hard uh, comboed. Now this tech, this uh, chain grab's working out because uh, low percentage. But um, Zane just has been very, very consistent on choosing to rack up damage and uh, allow Porkers to uh, to recover on stage and not going for those hard middle kills, jumping out and going for back air off stage or anything like that. Zane's just been content with rinsing, repeating, and so Porkers. Honestly, hasn't looked that bad. It's just losing one to two neutrals is gonna take a slot, uh, stock most time. Ooh, reversal on the down smash. Gets back to stage, tries to sneakily get past Zane, but Zane not going to let him back. Now Zane is pretty dominating lead right now, only 29% on his second stock. Zane ooh, gets uh, separated there though. It's what he needed and gets the nair, gets the nana off the stage. Wait's there too. I like the wait there. Oh, yeah, just starting to play with like the separation tactics there. Porker's kind of woken up a bit. Realizes where he is at in the game, or is at, and uh, he is back in it right now. That's yep. where he is. He's looking for this first game one. You know, this is a best of five now. So yeah, we've been in it for you know four and a half minutes now. Uh, it's gonna come up the. You know, well, actually, five and a half minutes. Yep. Uh, so it's it's been a kind of a long haul, and it's gonna feel bad if uh, you lose this game here. And this might be it. If good edge guard. Oh, gets oh out God, with the roll. Recovery. Yeah, the, he's been using those sneakily like high recoveries to where you can just barely get back on the stage, and he does it in between the ice climbers to yes. kind of visually throw off Zane. But uh, Zane that time just making it so you get a neutral win where. That cheek is off stage, and you can just grab. Yeah. You could just grab the ledge. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what he did. He was like, okay, no more games. You're going to have to actually grab the ledge in this one. Yeah. And uh, checkmated you. It's and, so unfortunate uh, because uh, Porkers has chosen, chosen not to go to ledge every single time. And then the last time when he finally chooses it, Zane's got to come, of course. Yep. So uh, good stuff uh, by Zane to force it to 2-0. And Porkers switching it off of Dreamland over to Battlefield. I wonder how much of that is strategy and how much of it is I don't want to play six minutes against Zane in a single game again. Yep. Good split up. Could get the Nana off. And now you're just going to play a wall game and now it's Sopo time. Yes. Oh, good needles. He's playing well. Takes the first stock pretty cleanly. Yeah. Porker's playing well all of a sudden. Porker's yeah. was able to get a split uh, a split between Nana and Popo really early. Almost got a split again with the grab off the Nair. Yeah, Zane messing up the combo this time. Uh, that Nana DI, though, is weirder at center stage. Yep. But, okay, now converting the handoffs, just as I say. 
Yeah, this chain grab's going uh, far you gotta right see, now. You gotta, you gotta smash the eye out. Good smash the eye, finally to get out of it. Yeah, but the combos from Zane right now knows his stuff and gets that forward smash. Gonna take that trade. Uh, he's uh, done better with Sopo before. Yeah, he's been, so he's, he's been he's, full he's, stocks he's got, with Sopo. He's got more than full stocks with Sopo. He's uh, pretty confident with it. But he, if isn't, you're, he is uh, the best player in the world. And he is the best player in the world for a reason. If you're Porkers, though, and you take that trade, I think you're happy. You got Nana out, and even if the Sopo could take you out, I think your, your mental's still pretty good, except for this, because you're at low percent. This chain grab's going to be true for a little bit. Again, this is why Zane is looking to workshop this character. Is this chain grab is pretty brutal, especially, like, with Sopo. It's actually, like, might be as good. With, I think it is better with Sopo. Yeah, okay. it literally, that just racked up 58% off of one grab. Just yeah. by hitting grab, 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 jab, jab, grab. Oh, the momentum. Too much. Oh, no. And SD's there, too. Porkers at magic percent right now. Porkers, Porkies right now. Porkers has a chance to take this game, uh, take the set, push the two one, which we make this really interesting. Yeah. I do. I will say he looked like he had a chance within that um, Dreamland game. So uh, this could get really dicey for Zane if he doesn't uh, capitalize on uh, game three here. Yeah, he's uh, Porkers is playing confident. You know, yeah. he's down 2-0, but it's again we're seeing it like the last set that we watched. We're seeing the player down 2-0 still play confident. Confidently and just get that game back for sure will yeah, and uh, Zane I mean the tournament doesn't you know He's entering for fun and everything with Porkers. This is his lifeline He wants to prove himself even if it is if it is like Zane Ices. Yep. He still wants to prove himself He still wants to get some games. Yeah, on the best player in the world, you know, that still looks great on a resume you know, yeah. Beating the best player in the world in a game this is uh, to go to the top 48 winner side as well So, yes, you know, bracket positioning is very important as well yeah, so. but Zane's Icy is still getting it done right now, but uh, it's no longer going to be Icy's, it's going to be Mr. Ice right now. We got the Sopo on deck right now. What Zane is... going to have to take that full stock right now. Only 0% on Porkers hasn't hit him yet. Porkers is just dominating right now. Oh, that back air is so slick. Amazing spacing there. Porkers kind of uh, crossing him up there with the back airs, but also uh, messing with his mental. He's been uh, wave dashing off flat back airing like several times in a row in safe distances and then keeps it in Zane's mind, then doesn't do anything about it, so it's out of Zane's mind, and uh -huh. then does it, and that's tilting. <laughs> that's the sort of strategy you want to do, like to get in the top player's head. Yeah. And right now, Porter's playing this really well, but yeah, this is a tough position to be in. Misses the uh, forward smash, too. Probably should have been more confident on that, honestly, uh, even though this is Zane. Uh, it's funny <laughs> to say that, but yeah. But gets the down smash there, securing the kill. Ooh, that was great. And, and I like that back air trap there from that Popo. Yeah, Zane is content to let Porkers go to the mid-platform, and Porkers actually survives because of the poof damage. 85% uh, on Zane, and, you know, Porkers still at his second uh, two stocks left. Nana might be dead here. Nana is dead. Oh, he might win a game. He this might win a game. Porkers might win this. Look, he, he's going to have to do Sopo two stocks. That's, uh, you know, that is something. Yeah, but I will say with Zane's chain grabs being on point, it just takes get this first stock, and then you can chain grab up to 78 and then just play the back air game again. But... Porkers Up is going to do it. Porkers is bonkers. That's what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Porkers is bonkers, ladies and gentlemen, as he takes a game from Zane, baby. Very exciting. He's got one on the board, baby. I he's, will say. Uh, he's not even breaking a sweat. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, I mean, was, that was pretty great. He's coming off a six-minute game on Dreamland, and then he does that. He Actually, what he did was he picked up the pace a lot, and he started coming in with uh, falling nares to split up Nana and Popo. Then Zane starts split, uh, switching it up by trying to CC that yes. and uh, go for grabs off a of CC, and that was working for a little bit. Now you're seeing Porkers go for falling fair because that's larger knockback. CC isn't working as much anymore. Yep, yep. So he's been Porkers adapt. You know, going for a new strategy, it works, and then as soon as it stops working, adapting very quickly. Exactly. And Porkers now on the board and has to get through this FD. Yeah. Though you see. Not only is it FD, but it's also Zane. Who's yeah. Very adaptable this stage. And on top of that, this is the reason why Zane has been labbing this out. Because on FD, the chain grab is just there. Yeah. It's just dominant against Sheik. And it's going to take more than just like one good game for Porkers. It's going to take a lot right here. Yeah. You know, even with taking that first game. Uh, Porkers knew that, you know, this was a reality. Able to break out of the chain grab. 
Uh, but he gets right back into it. And that's the unfortunate part of it, is any single missed move is going to be really tough. Uh, if, you know, dash attack gets shielded, or uh, you can get grabbed, any CC that works can get grabbed. That grab is very easy uh, for Zane to get. So, you know, maybe Porker's approaching with a grab rather than falling forward air just to mix it up a little bit. It's it's tough, but, you know, you're working your way through. You're trying to, he's trying to find his new strategy now that you can't just fall off platforms with aerials. And yep. starting to get some stuff going, starting to get some momentum. Let's we'll see, down throw, maybe up air? Nope, forward air. Maybe we could have gotten a forward tilt. Love that uh, drop off ledge back air. Yeah. Takes the first stop. But here's the grab. Can he break out of it? Uh, he has a better odd two right now because yep. he's not in the corner, but soon that's going to be more guaranteed. Yep. The closer you get to the ledge, the better it is for Nana and Popo. Yeah, now you're oh, going to try and smash, out, smash the eye out of that Nana yeah, down okay, air. That but... was a good one there, but uh, Zane just too dominant with getting too much damage on his combos, whereas Porkers has to win so many interactions. And on a stage like FD, that's so much tougher. You On FD, FD is a punish stage. Yes. You don't have your punish game up to snuff on FD. You're going to get matchup check. Yeah. Now, and Porker's. That's what's happening right now with Zane. Por yeah, Porker's. Porker's on his last stock now, and, uh, you know, chain grab comes out immediately, and he's nodding his head as he knows as he slowly heads off to the other edge of the stage that this might be his winter side life. Yep. So here comes the handoffs and forward smash. Yeah, and that's why you pick Ices into Seek. <laughs> yep. And that's what he wanted. Yeah. You know, he workshop. Again, the analogy was that Zane is workshopping his joke. You know what I mean? Like a comedian, he's workshopping. Yes. You know what I mean? He's going to the smaller venue and he's workshopping it right now. He's workshopping those Ices. And that's what he wanted. The joke was successful. He's yep. adding that to his resume. Yeah. And uh, that's what it's all about. What's up? We're switching on to the top. Start at top. Okay. okay. So, it's so I, I will be signing off. Yeah. All right. So uh, for uh, for now, I think our block's done. Yeah.